Good evening. This side, Rahul Mugan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer at Treasury Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist. Now, standing today on 21st October, we are going to be shooting a pretty important video about a topic which is the role of the AI in finance. Well, uh, you know, I would like to spare this video into the three equal parts. Now, what about this video is that, you know? So, yesterday when I was, uh, today, I got, you know that I am an ex treasurer so we are pretty much active in the interbank market. Even today, which is approximately 2, what, 3 in the morning and interbank market is going on, the trading terminals are going on and we are watching how the, how the GBP would be tomorrow because tomorrow is a D-day for the GBP. As we know that the Boris Johnson lost in the parliament. But let's see how the things would fare up tomorrow. You know, uh, when I was uh, in the interbank market, there is an article which came which suggests that Goldman CEO David Coleman, he said that we are investing too much on technology than on the people. And everyone knows that I am a pro Goldman. And I don't think he's wrong. Because what would if my work is to be done by a computer or a bot or a chat bot, why do I need so many people? I would like to link this news with the fact that JP Morgan deployed around uh, deployed NDF ELGO, non-deliverable forward ELGO and they traded around $250 billion on that. I don't know how much they made out of it, they lost it, they gained it or what was the gain percentage, I don't know. But one thing I surely know that it is a pretty good initiative. Now JP Morgan, if I'm not mistaken, hold over $40 trillion of derivative in the book. Well, JP, Goldman and Citi, together they hold over 40 each, a so total 120 each, 120 total. Uh, maybe 3, 4, 3, 4 trillion greater than, 3, 4 trillion greater than 120. But the fact of the matter is that, if JP is doing NDF algo, I, I hope Goldman will do soon. And maybe JP will do the two non-deliverable swaps, non-deliverable options, non-deliverable OIS, non-deliverable and hell lot of stuff in non-deliverable market. Because the Indian definition of the non-deliverable is straight, which is non-deliverable forward. Apart from that, there is no non-deliverable. But globally, the definition of the non-deliverable is pretty big. It is non-deliverable forward, non-deliverable option, non-deliverable swap, non-deliverable OIS, non-deliverable IRS, POS, COS and what not. This is first part. Second part, we got to know that Bank of America is investing heavily in the blockchain projects. That's again good. Third, I got to know, and I myself tested the bot by DBS. I don't know how many of you know that, but DBS created a bot which is known as the business care. And this bot is very much, very much available on their website. If you want, I can share the link of that website. Well, we have a WhatsApp group in which we shared all these technical things we already shared in our WhatsApp groups. And trust, I don't give even one out of 10 to this bot of DBS. It's shit. That's it. The bank like DBS who sits on several billion dollars of wealth not been able to make a good bot out of it. This is the level of the DBS we have in Singapore now. And surprisingly that the regulators also not commented on that. Well, I have started losing faith on a lot of regulators and, and after the B-Work scenario whereby the valuation reduced from 48 billion to now when SoftBank is say, himself said it is 8 billion, which means a drawdown of 40 billion and know that the 8 billion which SoftBank is saying is wrong. It is less than 5 billion, but nonetheless, None of the regulators came in the public domain and gave a single statement about the V-Work that how come the private valuation which was over 48 billion now it is at 8 billion. But nonetheless, let's move further. So artificial intelligence is anyway shaping up in the banking, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. Now yesterday when while watching the Bloomberg, you know, we got an interview from a famous personality and he said that the Wall Street banks are now taking a lot of people, a lot of kids from the B schools, a lot of doesn't mean in thousand, a lot of means uh, basically uh, they want more preference to the kids, those who know, those who are AI enabled kids, that is a lot of definition. So no, please don't think that a lot of means that they are taking in thousands, so let it be clear, right? So he said that Wall Street banks are taking a lot of kids uh, who are AI enabled, basically the latest technological enabled and they are very choosy. 
I was reading one of the survey which also suggests that AI gave replay AI returned one job versus ten he took. So ten jobs who was replaced by AI, AI replaced one out of that. So nine gone. Which means the probability of finding a job once the AI would come is ten percent versus it is hundred percent today. But all these eventualities which are happening in the banking when the gold man is, is heavily pushing into technology, Bank of America coming into the blockchain, DBS is doing the bot, right or wrong. We have Bank of America, Erika, the Google claims that Erika resolved around 6 million problems in one year. Well, Bank well, Goldman also have a bot which is Marcus and there is also talk which are in the public domain which suggests that the investment banking investment banking is now shifting to technology and that has to be so gone are the days when people when the banks like UBS, Barclays, City, Goldman, Bank of America they can afford to have several hundred or maybe thousand people investment banking division and we know that investment banking margins are also very less and the quantum is also very less well in India we have saw a decrease of about 25 percent in the quantum of the m &A in the last one year and India is one of the emerging economies for that and after the suspension of the Weaver and many and, and the SoftBank has clearly given the warning to the startups in their kitty is that if you really want it to be uh, if you don't go for IPO rather look for the profitability investment banking is also happening into the technological space and sooner or later we will see that AI enabled app will do the job of the investment banking that's for sure you agree or disregard 10 years before no one thought that DBS would have a bot but DBS having a bot standard chartered bank Hong Kong website is having a bot it is there I think it is Stacy Bank of America also having Erika while Goldman having Marcus we have Julia there are bots but the moral of the story is pretty clear and straight that the degrees which we are taking the so-called CFA Certified Financial Analyst FRM Faltu Risk Management these degrees are actually nowhere teaching people about the technology which is handsomely required so currently the finance world is moving into a transitionary phase and I think this is the luckiest period for all young guys because we will never see this transition period again after 10 years so within these 10 years once the transition would done and dusted maybe the next 90 years that we will continue with the same transition now the one side of the transition is the LIBOR when the 8 guys are taking up the one cake 8 and 9th is on the way which is Sudan another side of transition is that a small European country Sudan is coming up with their alternate reference rate and more importantly Sweden is coming up with a digital currency Sweden is coming up with a digital currency Canadian government is coming up with a digital currency Goldman is coming up with a coin and yesterday during IIF International Institute of Finance seminar or a conference which was in New York if I'm not mistaken uh, Dimon the head of Chase said that Libra will never be a reality although I disregard with him that he should not come in the public he should not speak like this in the public domain being the head of JP Morgan it is not professional to comment on another company that Libra will not be a reality but I, I hope that Jukas work will definitely make sure Libra would be a reality but he, he said that JP Morgan will surely come up with a coin and Goldman also working on a coin People Bank of China is coming up with a coin Swiss, uh, sorry, Sweden coming up with a coin. Project Obin of the Simba of the Monetary Authority of Singapore is underway. I'm not sure where it reached now. Well, Goldman coming up with a coin. Chase is coming up with a coin. God knows, City and all they are they are working in that direction. Well, on the other side, the artificial intelligence are taking up the banking jobs. But the degrees which we are reading. This is one side of transition. Another side of transition is the interest rate reform. Wherein we are moving from LIBOR to 8 interest rate and 9th is on the way. Which is by, by Sweden. But all these cumulative things are not being taught up in the degree which we are taking and spending thousands and thousands of dollars. And that degree is nothing but the CFA and FRM, GARP, CPA and all. We are not taking, they are not letting us know. 
These degrees do not tell us the IoT, Internet of Things, Virtual Reality, Blockchain, Artificial Intelligence, Augmented Reality and what not, Cryptocurrency and all, which is Cloud Compounding. Do you know that how important is the Cloud Compounding nowadays? Can the banks run without Cloud Compounding, considering the shrinking margins every year? But a person and, and, and the CFA which was which was more importantly designed to be an eye banker, right? Now the eye banking is moving almost moved to the digitization and almost thousands of jobs. Don't trust on me, go to Google, right? Thousands of jobs in the last several years lost in investment banking. And the confirmed news is that Credit Suisse in Pune, which is their captive, is firing, but very diplomatically. The Wells Fargo filing around 5 to 6,000 people only in India. Deutsche is winding up their flow trading desk, they are selling their exotic derivatives and what not. Commerce Bank is firing, Standard Chartered Dubai is firing and almost every gold man is firing. Everybody is firing. The moral of the story is that how long we continue to be reliant on these degrees when they do not end up giving us what is known as the career or the direction. So two important fronts of the transition, one is the technological front and banks are leading that technological front because take an example of Goldman, right? Goldman knows that if they do not invest in the technology, then Goldman, which is a 150 year old institution will not be there for long, probably 10 years, 20 years, and then Goldman would wipe out. So Goldman cannot ignore technology only because of people, they have to go for technology because they need to survive, right? While apparently speaking, the second transition which is moving to the structured derivative and the interest state list reform, this, these degrees like CFA, CPA, CMA, ACCA and all, they are offering nothing. And the end result, the person who has this degree, he is on the road. So be careful. To wind up this video, I would like to summarize only in one minute and that is that if you are thinking that being a banker and you are working in the front office, you're working in the middle office or you're working in the back office. Anyways, in most of the banks, the back office is history now. That is a fact. But if being a banker in a front, middle or back office, if you're thinking that your job is secure, then remember that Goldman traded around 250 billion only on a bot or an algo. Remember that the banking job is supposed to go 110%. The artificial intelligence in the next five years, according to me, would wipe out not less than two million jobs and Singapore will surely face the heat. That's a fact. Well, why Singapore? All the global financial centers will face up a heat, which includes London, which includes Singapore, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, US and other parts of Europe. Could be Dubai as well. And according to my estimate, not less than two million jobs will go. And the treasury management system, the so-called legacy based system like Murex and Calypso, they are also not ready for that. Well, that's a different thing that they continue to get the prizes because we know how prizes are awarded in, 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 in our society. You sponsor my conference and I will give you a prize. I got almost every week, I got one invitation. You sponsor my con conference, I will give you a prize. You don't trust. And in some cases, they are blunt. They tell you that you give us this money as a sponsorship, you will get the prize. If you want, Treasury Consulting will get a prize of the number one consulting company in India tomorrow. I cannot tell you the cost. And I can give you a certificate and memento. I just need to pay a heavy amount and they will award me as a number one consulting company in India. This is how the prices, prizes work. So please be serious, right? Just think that how things are working. Please be serious and see that the degrees which you are taking, how reliable are these degrees. Just try and see that are these degrees taking you to the fruitful career or they are taking to the fruitless career. Do not spend several thousands and maybe in some cases several huge amount of money on these degrees without knowing that what you are doing. Try to be functionally competent and try and see that where the banking actually is moving. And last but not the least, before winding up this video, please be note that the banking is under a transitionary stage and the next 10 years banking would be completely different. That's my word. And it would be difficult for the people, those who lost it now would gain at that point of time. Rest is on you. 
But you know my mobile number which is plus 91 and Indian code 9899242978. You know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global. Well, uh, if you are a banker, you think that you have credentials, you are upfront like us, you are able to challenge the status quo, we have a WhatsApp group for you. And you can also join the WhatsApp newsletter. You can visit our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global. You need to go down. You will get a link of the WhatsApp newsletter. That WhatsApp newsletter is free. You can join and that comes daily. Have a good time and have a happy degree degree game. Talk so